channel. I'm taking uh, doing something a little bit different today. As you can see, I am taking a break from the All Roads Lead to Rome, as um, I've got access to the Special Transport DLC. And here, you see, I am taking off my first cargo. So here we've got the cutscene. You see I'm carrying a boat. Uh, the media are out. We've got all the guys around putting this special cargo in place. Okay, not too tricky this one, I would imagine. Um, it's obviously a bit wider, so we've got our, our special screen up here. So obviously the special cargo has a few rules together with it, so I'm going to have to make sure I keep up. Or I say keep up. I don't go faster than or pass the car, the escort vehicle. going to have to follow the procedure there for changing lanes. Basically I can't change lanes unless the escort vehicle does so. Obviously got to avoid any accidents. It's going to be a lot stricter than usual with, um, you know, normally if you if you clip the trailer or something you, you might get a penalty. Um, you might get a little bit damaged but we've got to avoid all that here. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Let's get that engine started up. Obviously I'm doing a quick job here, not using my own truck. Now immediately here we see a bit of a challenge. Look at... Oh, look at that. We've got our pilot boat. We're going from Brussels to Amsterdam. But look at that. Okay. I can... So I can go straight, but it looks like I'm going to have to turn a bit to get out of here. I say I can go straight, but of course that's for the truck cabin, but look at the cargo. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Oh, let's get the uh, handbrake off. Just have to watch that here. Okay, yeah, there we see escort vehicle. All the traffic stopped. This is the first time I am doing a special delivery. Right here for you on this channel. This is very much my first attempt. Let's keep an eye on those mirrors. I'm going to have to take a wide, wide turning here. Okay, and... Obviously here I am on the wrong side of the road, but there was no way I was making the turning any differently. Now is this my escort car here? Certainly looks like it. Yes it is. Okay, so coming to keep an eye on the mirror here. Now there's a red light, but as long as my escort car keeps going, I can keep going too. Okay, and there we go. I've heard about this. The people out on the side of the road. We've got you know, police cars marking the way. It's feel a bit special today for this journey. Wow, yeah. Yeah, well, we get to skip red lights. Woohoo! Oh, wow, dearie me. I thought that car there was going to try and pull out. Now obviously here we've got the fence up at the side of the road. I've got to watch out there that my trailer doesn't scrape along the fence or the barrier. Now I've got an escort car behind me as well. Obviously don't have to worry about that. Okay, so the front escort wheel is going to warn of the drivers. Okay, so the front escort is getting out onto the road ahead of me. Good call. Okay, do I have to stop? Looks like I do. Probably do not want to stop there. Okay, so I'm, you know, I'm waiting. Guessing my man here. Please wait for the rear escort vehicle. Okay. Now 
we good? Okay, just as I was saying, I don't need to worry about the rear escort vehicle very much. I get warned about it. Okay, now when we get onto a straighter bit of road, I will change the camera so we can have a look at this from from the outside, although, you know, I don't want to distract myself too much. Okay, so I've got a speed limit here of 37. So I'm assuming my escort car is aware of that. Okay. So I have to keep touching on the brakes a little bit. So obviously, I'm, I'm using the same profile here as for my All Roads to Rome series. So this is obviously taking me out of that a little bit, but we'll, we'll just ignore that. This is a, a special event. You know, you've seen that the media are out. People are watching us from the side of the streets, from the bridges. They want to see this uh, patrol boat being hauled by land from Brussels. So I'm guessing Brussels isn't a coastal town, so I'm guessing this must have been used on a lake or something like that. So yeah, I got the email when I logged into the game today to let me know uh, that the special deliveries are available from certain cities. I think it's 11 or 12 cities available initially. Um, most of them based on the original map of the game, a couple in Scandinavia. Okay, I'll heed your warning. Switched on my indicator as well to be a good boy. So, um, yeah, according to those instructions at the beginning, the rear car will move over first. Then the front escort vehicle will move over. And then once the front escort vehicle's moved over, that's when I can move over. The rear escort vehicle has stopped. Um to make sure the lane's clear, and there we go. Okay, ooh, looks like... Uh, I didn't pay attention to the time here. I'm going to have to complete this journey by night. It's uh, quarter past six in the evening. Yeah, I see the sunset. I'll get my headlights on now, just in case. I don't know if I will get... Well, I assume I would... I would get fined for driving without my headlights with a special cargo like this. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, if you haven't got special transport DLC already, um, 11 or 12 cities it is that you can start off with initially. Uh, most of them on the like, original map of the game, a couple from the Going East map and from the Scandinavia map. And I think one from the France map. Nothing from the Italia DLC. Um, apparently, new starting points will be added later on. So I imagine, yeah, this is probably a project that they've been working on in parallel, in tandem with Italia. But maybe separate teams working on it, so that's why uh, there's no Italia jobs as of yet, but I'm sure they will be added soon. Okay. Look from the outside, whoa. Uh, and there we see, oh, I don't think that was a good, great idea for that tanker to be passing me right there because we had some barriers up on the other side of the road, but okay, we got through it without any scrapes. So obviously the speed limit is being kept quite low here. Uh, we've been kept to 37 miles per hour. So still a couple of hours of journey time to go. We're on our way to Amsterdam. Okay, what's going on with this truck here? Ah, he's causing me some trouble. We've got a bend coming up. 
Oh, he, he just wants to make life difficult for me. Okay. Change lane maneuver coming, so I've I think I can just follow the uh, I can follow the escort vehicle's lead here. Don't have to wait for that rear vehicle. In this case, as it's a new lane. Okay, and hopefully, oops, just went onto the rumble strip there. Hopefully, we're now saved from that tanker. Brave car coming up there in the middle lane. He just thought, nah, I'm not going to pull over. It'll be fine. It's going to happen. Whoa. Okay. Don't want to. <laughs> don't want to use that external camera there too much. Can't see the. Um, can't see the head of the truck. It started to veer off the road slightly. take a screenshot at the beginning because we had that cutscene of course so that'll be my cover image for today so this is yeah this is a I guess a slightly different driving experience to a regular cargo as we approach Rotterdam obviously you have to watch the speed Got to keep a very careful eye on those mirrors, which I generally only do at turnings and st so on. Okay, he's getting quite a way ahead of me. catch up. Okay, he's forcing me to slow down a bit. Alright, and with the sun streaming into our eyes, let's continue. So I didn't visit Amsterdam uh, when I set out on my road to Rome, so this is a nice extra little job. I will return to Geneva. Just wanted to get this video out there while special transport DLC is still relatively new. I'm just pulling over to the center a bit there, trying to avoid road signs. I don't think I clipped any. Oh, we've got quite a tight turning coming up. Might do another video after this one, you know, while I'm out here, and then we'll get back on the way to Rome. Yes, good idea, sir. You stop right there. Okay, this should be fun. Okay, we've got a slip road. Just gonna have to take it slowly. Might oh, whoa, 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 trailer slipped off the back of the road there. I was just thinking, might we have been better off going the other way around there? Okay, have we avoided? Taking out the road sign looks like it. Probably switch the indicator off now. <laughs> Hundred kilometers an hour. I don't think we'll be doing that today. Okay, and into a tunnel just to make things even more interesting. Yeah, and there's one of the vehicles out marking the route just to make sure everything passes off okay. Oh, I'm going to have to be very careful here. So, as you can see, I'm positioning myself over that central line a bit. It's very concerned about 
jamming this boat up against the wall in the tunnel. That would be quite a sight. I think you can fail. From what I've heard, you can fail these deliveries quite easily. Whoa, and we've got some uh, some kind of construction work going on in the middle there. Luckily, we did not bring down the scaffolding. Okay, there we go. And we're coming out the other side of the tunnel. So, slight chicane coming up. Okay, and I think I think we're clear of the tunnel now. A hot air balloon up there, out for a late evening uh, flight. Okay, lovely. There we go. Yeah, I think I definitely could go faster. Not sure I'd want to. Ah, we must be approaching Amsterdam now. This looks familiar from the times I've been there myself with uh, the road the road uh, passing under the runways of the airport and so on. Okay, let's watch that speed there. And keep an eye on that trailer at the back. There we go. Uh, I have been along this road in real life a few times, driving under the taxi runways for the airport. Schiphol, I think, is the airport in Amsterdam, isn't it? So, we must be very close. Now, of course, if you watch my previous videos, you'll have seen how uh, inexperienced I still am when it comes to reverse parking, so I think I'll just go for the most straightforward parking possible with this trailer. I'll be interested to see what the options are. Let me just drift over to the side there, because we have another tunnel coming up. I am aware there's a car behind me, but oh my god, he, he, he's, he's doing an overtaking maneuver in the tunnel <laughs> with my truck filling half of the lane. Okay. Well, it's it's. I'm sure you're fully insured, so it's all up to you. Okay, now it looks like we have a tricky moment coming up here. We have got a 270 degree ramp coming up to change onto a new road. I'm assuming if I just did not follow the safety car and continued straight on this road that I would fail the job. I wouldn't... I do wonder what would happen then when you fail the job. Does it just like screen fades to black and you know you're back to the job screen? Or do you just get to drive off and steal the boat? Probably not. Okay. Oh, we've got barriers on either side here, so let's take this nice and slow. So just touched on the brake there, and I'm just letting gravity do the rest. Escort car has recognized my caginess. But okay. We looking out the wing mirrors we seem to be alright. Obviously, I'm going to use up both lanes here. While well, I do admire the, the lovely colours in the sky. This uh, beautiful Dutch evening. Okay, we made it round there. 20 minutes to go. Just over 10 miles of in-game distance. Should be seeing that red flag appear on the sat nav soon. Oh, I think it just popped into the corner there briefly. So, by the looks of things, we do have another couple of bends and a turning to navigate, and then obviously we'll just have to see what the drop off area like is like. Okay. Okay, that's straightforward. That first. 
lane-changing manoeuvre. Took much longer, but the the last couple, the escort car in front of me has just moved over straight away. Oops, slight uh, frame rate drop there. I do apologise for that. Okay, and here we've got a turning coming up. Newcastle. That's not a sign you expect to see in Holland every day now, is it? Okay, so I do gather this is a special feature of the Special Transport DLC. That on turnings like this, all the traffic will be stopped before you before you attempt the turning. That's part of the deal with the escort vehicles and all the police vehicles lining the route. They make sure traffic's prepared to let you through. Okay, so we're onto a single lane road. See the cars coming from the opposite direction, playing it cautiously. Got to watch out for that fence from the mirror. Okay, so we're very close now. Let's see how the parking works, what kind of options we're presented with, if any. It might just be that instead of the usual skip parking, easy parking or hard parking, we just get one option. Maybe it's just a cutscene. Let's find out. vehicle has stopped now. It's time for me to complete my turning. The Felison Terminal. Okay, I hope the trailer's gonna get make it through behind me. Yes, yes, nicely does it. Okay, good, good, good. So now, looks like, okay, I've got my, got my drop-off point up ahead. Okay, so we've got a parking space, I just go straight into the parking space. I suppose I could drive up to the anchor there, it's, I'd probably fail the job then though. Okay, nice straightforward bit of parking. Still get the option to skip the parking. Just don't get that screen asking me how I want the parking to work. Okay, let's just ease it forward. Okay, there we go. And there we go. That's my first, um, my first ever special cargo delivery. So thank you very much uh, for joining me for that rather interesting ride. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get another, probably going to get another special cargo job up after this, and then we'll return to the Roads to Rome series. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe, tell a friend. I'm Dutch Gamer, and I'll see you again soon.